So at the bottom of the screen here, the first item is compare view. And this does exactly what it says on the tin. And if I click compare view, you can see it now shows me my selected image here with the dotted line around it, which is the one on the left. And it shows me this particular image here on the right. This is very useful for when you want to navigate through your images to decide whether one image is better than another image. And you can use your arrow keys like I'm doing here to navigate through to make your comparisons to your image, or you can use your mouse to click on the particular thumbnail. Now, you can also choose to view in a different uh, orientation. So if you go up to the top here, you click that A and B, it switches them to uh, up, up and down uh, compare view. So you can toggle that um, to suit your taste. And then over on the right hand side here, you have switch compare images. So if you decide that you want this image to become the hero shot, uh, and then uh, compare with others, you just press switch compare images and then that swaps them around. And now you can see that that particular image is the one that has the dotted outline around it. And if I start navigating around here now, you can see the other images become the compare images. So that's the compare function, very useful for editing your images, navigating through them and deciding which ones are your favorites. Just going to turn the compare view function off and go back to our main view. Crop tool is next and I can click crop tool and I can basically choose to crop the image as I feel uh, suitable. But we also have the option to crop a number of different options with the adjust settings. Now, I've omitted these panels up here at the moment. I'm gonna come back to those shortly, but I'm just gonna jump into the crop and orientation. So within the crop and orientation, as you can see here, I can set specific crop ratios or I can create a preset for a given crop that I wanna work with. Now, this can be very useful if you're working with specific page layout. So often I'm shooting for a magazine or an advertisement that's a specific shape and size. And it's very useful if I've got the art director with me to have those actual sizes put in in a crop preset and bringing them up on screen to make sure that everything compositionally in the image fits within the layout of that particular advert. So crop presets uh, is where you can do that. So that's the crop tool. And once you've set a crop tool, you can obviously move it around, bend it around in the standard format. Um, if you wanna remove the crop, just click outside of it and then it's gone and just turn the crop off. The line tool, just draw a line at a given angle and then it will rotate the image to suit that particular line. And once it's rotated the image, uh, you can use that to obviously straighten horizons and uh, make modifications like that. I'm just going to undo that command, put it back to where it was. Now, the reason I've come down to the bottom panel first before we go on to the other panels, because I wanted to show you the neutralization tool in relation to the white balance and um, some of the other things that we spoke about earlier. So if we look at our capture panel and we can see the white balance, um, we can actually choose now what the color balance of the image should be. So if you know that this area should be perfectly neutral in that tin, for example, I can click that and then it will make the image neutral based on that. If I knew that that paint there was specifically a neutral gray paint, I could click on it and it neutralizes the image to suit that particular paint. Now we're not seeing a great deal of effect with the image here because it was already neutral. But if I go and choose a different image file, for example, so we get this picture of Ben here where he looks a little bit orange because the color balance is way out. You can see he's holding up a color check card, which is great because I can now use the neutralize tool and I can select one of the tones that I know to be perfectly neutral gray and I can click on it and 
perfectly neutralizes the image for me. So obviously, if like me, you're a product and advertising photographer, you'll uh, regularly be using these sort of uh, color checker cards and putting them in your shot. It's even useful to put them in when you're shooting landscape pictures to take your first series of pictures with one of these in. And then you can always use that neutralization tool to bring your image to neutral, um, to perfectly neutral balance. And then if you want to, then you can slightly tweak it or modify the tint or the color balance afterwards. Uh, further along, while we're here, I'm also going to show you this particular tool here. And this particular tool is what's called the readout tool, but basically it tells you the RGB values. So if I click there, you can now see that it's showing 113 in the red channel, 113 in the green and in the blue because it's perfectly neutral on that particular gray. If I choose red, you can see the color numbers are different. They're more orientated to stronger in the red channel. And you can put these things all over your image for checking uh, different portions of the shot. I find this particularly useful as well for checking whether I've got pure whites in a given area or a given part of the shot. And you can see just on Ben's shoulder there, uh, the values uh, that it's showing is 255 in each channel, which as we know is uh, pure white. So um, it's uh, a very useful tool, the neutralize and the um, checker readout tool as well, often using those two tools in combination. So I'm just gonna deactivate those.